people want to assume that just because you're a woman that you can't build anything or you can't do anything. My name is Lily and I'm addicted to customizing vehicles. My name is Lily and I'm from Houston, Texas. So my dad actually had a lowered 87, I believe at the time. He had like a candy red paint job on it. And that's really what made me start liking trucks. And then I did have my cousin um, that lived next door. And he had a, I wanna say, actually this body style. He had a 99 maybe. Yeah, my dad always had me in the garage. He'd, oh, well, my mom would work and then my dad, he worked nights. So during the day he would take care of me and he would actually just put me inside of his little toolboxes while he worked. And then I was working supposedly as well. So that's, I guess that's kind of what got me into liking like all that grease monkey stuff. My very first car driving was a Mazda 626. I don't remember what year it was because it only lasted for about three or four months. And then I believe I was 16 when I had it. And as soon as I turned 17, I went ahead and bought this truck. I saved all my pennies, and me and my mom have an actually funny story about this. I, I, I worked at the YMCA, and I was a swim instructor, so I would save up all the money that I did have. And then I had jewelry from when I was 15. So me and my mom say that this truck is made out of gold because literally I sold all my gold from when I was young. And then I got a whole bunch of money out of that. I traded in the car for the difference of the truck and then paid, I think it was $5,000 cash. And then I got my truck. And as soon as I got the truck, I believe it was two or four months in between that time period, I went ahead and I took off the fleet side that it was and I got the step side on. And my uncle used to have a body shop in downtown. So I would always go over there every weekend and work on it. And then once we ended up changing the bed, I took it home. Um, my brother taught me how to do some body work and I started sanding the whole truck down. That would be basically my whole weekend. And I would take it like that to work and I didn't even care how raggedy it looked because one day it was going to look badass. I had bought it with rims and I had to take off the rims. I sold them because I didn't like them. They're like these ugly aftermarket wheels. So I rode around with um, stocks and I remember people making fun of me because of it, but those stocks were only on there for like a few months. And then I ended up getting some more aftermath or aftermarket wheels. After I got those, I painted them black because I didn't like how the chrome looked on it. I wanted everything to be just black on black on black. And the truck actually used to be maroon. And I didn't like it maroon. As soon as I did get the truck, my cousin worked at O'Reilly's and you know, they have these little paint stores. I think it was in South Houston and he ended up making me this pearl, like a gold pearl inside of the black color and what we painted the truck. And then whenever I was getting the graphics done, I was like, I don't want the pearl anymore. I just did it a tuxedo black, I think is what it was called. So the people who built my truck was my dad and Jonathan Barron. We did have a few friends that would come over on maybe two weekends, they came over and helped um, to build it. I have a two link. Um, I, I basically got all of the extensive kit for it. When it came time for the graphics on the truck, Patrick Reed and Jonathan Barron ended up helping me out with that. Sure. And then come LST 2017, I think is when I debuted the paint. The colors were actually chosen by me. The only color that was not chosen and Patrick actually chose it for me and I ended up loving it was a pink. I thought pink was too girly, but hey, he made it work. One thing that's hidden in my paint that actually made me cry that Patrick put in there, on my tailgate it says Grummet, and there's little crosses and that was my Corgi that had just passed away, I think a month before I got my truck back. And I didn't know he was gonna put that in there. So the guys at Mad Concepts joked around that I wasn't gonna get graphics on my truck if I didn't get my hands dirty. So I believe two weekends I had to go and sand the truck. I've always wanted billets, so I ended up getting them, but I had to save my pennies for them. These are US MAG compressors, 24, 24 by 9. 
The whole interior is actually done. The only thing that I didn't do is the seat. Literally, that's it. I got my headliner, I have my dash painted, I have all the plastics painted, just the seat. I kind of wanted to keep it semi-original, just get black leather done. Nothing too crazy. You see everybody just having the same diamond uh, stitching, I guess, in it. I just want something original, like keep it classy, not too crazy. So sometime in the future, I like to change the graphics up, make them crazier, get a little wild. I would love to change the full color. Way back when, when I remember Jenny's truck getting painted, um, I wasn't in any club or anything. I just would always see pictures of it and I did fall in love with it and I was like, man, one day I want to have graphics like that. And I think it was actually Crystal Sarate's truck that I was like, oh my God, there's a chick. She's, she has graphics and she has her own truck. And then that I saw that she was with her husband, with Mark. I was like, man, those are goals. I would hope to do that one day. And I ended up having it. And who knows, like, who knew that one day we're going to be friends with Patrick Reed? So this used to be my daily driver since I was 17. Um, she, ret she retired maybe 2014, 2015. And I ended up getting a 2013 Challenger. I ended up putting it on 24s. Can't keep anything really stock. And um, I recently let it go. I ended up getting a 2015 GMC. And I feel like that's not going to stay stock for long. I've only had it for a month. And I don't know, maybe the direction that I never thought I would go, I wanted to lift it. I don't think I would ever drive anything stock. And if I do, it's going to be for a little time. So the reason I got rid of my Challenger was for my daughter. So when I was looking at the lot, I kept getting tempted to get me a car, but just to save fuel but still have a badass car. But I still ended up getting a truck, a four-door GMC 2015. And as soon as I got it, literally right when I was on the lot, I thought, man, I, I'm still gonna be a cool mom and I'm still gonna have a cool daily. And my plans for that's gonna be pretty badass. So my very first car show was Heat Wave. Not sure what year it was, but I was little and um, that's kind of what started everything. My most memorable car show was Last Resort, and that was my very first time coming in with the Severed Ties people, which are now, I believe, Committed Texas. I remember everybody was pretty friendly with me at that car show. They actually showed me around, and I got to know like their experience in the scene, and I got to meet people who are like a big part of the scene. And since it was my very first time hanging around with them like as a prospect, I felt pretty cool because they let me park with them and I never experienced something like that before. Before it was just me going to car shows and like checking out someone else's rides. And for the first time people were checking out mine and I felt pretty, I felt pretty cool. So I used to be in an all girl club called Flawless Chicks. Sounds so dumb, but I used to be in one and I wanted it to be like nothing but girls with custom trucks that were actually customized. And I ended up leaving that. Maybe I was in it for a year or two. And I wanted to go to bigger and better things. And obviously I understand some women don't, don't want to like put the time and effort because maybe they had kids. And I didn't have kids back then. So it was kind of like, my truck is my baby. That is my kid. That's what I want to customize. I want to make it into a bigger, bigger deal than what it was before. I remember that back then I used to think I was all, all that in a bag of potato chips. But I wasn't, and then when I started hanging around you guys, this when I started to see like, oh man, like this is what I want. I want to be a part of that. And then plus being in an all-girl club is like drama. If I said, hey, I'm bagging my truck, like I want to do this, I want to get these wheels, I want to do that, they'd be like, well, why are you gonna waste money for that? I'm like, oh girl, I can't be your friend. I cannot be your friend. And there was a few girls, there was maybe like a good five or six chicks that had nice rides or bagged or super lifted and then everybody else was just dropped on stock. So custom trucks is a really big part of my life that I even involved it in my gender reveal. So whenever I did, um, I didn't know what the baby was going to be and we ended up giving it to some friends and 
they ended up putting this powder, a color, and I ended up giving them just like a blue bag and a pink bag. And they put it inside of the airline. So whenever you would hit it to lay it out, it blew out the color of the, of the, of the gender. No, shit, Whenever they laid out the truck and it came out pink, I remember crying because I did not want a little girl. I wanted a little boy. <laughs> and then I got over it and I said, well, this little girl is going to be a tomboy just like her mom. And I want her to grow up to be that, like a pretty cool kid, you know? So I no longer have my switch box on the truck. I have those rocker switches. And so Eva now took the switch box and she has it in her car. Her little bodied car. When she watches TV, she's gonna be hitting them switches. So if you like this video, like and subscribe to Built to Cruise and check out their website, builttocruise.com. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Man, I just sit there and I start cleaning them. Oh, that doesn't look right. <laughs> 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 no. I want to keep cussing, but I can't do it. Where they didn't they shoot your truck there? Where, oh, where that? you couldn't dr turn on your damn truck? Yeah. Haters. Man, I want to be that cool mom with my bag truck showing up, and kids are like, oh, that's what I want to do.